Viral Science, the home of creativity. This video is sponsored by Ultium 365. It's a very good PCB designing tool and Octopart which is a very good and fast search engine for electronic components. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today we will be making this beautiful 3D glowing LED letters with NeoPixel LEDs. So first we'll need to visit this page from Thingiverse. I'll share the link for this page with you. And I would like to thank this person to share these 3D files for this amazing project. So from here we need to download our letters. In my case I will be printing the word viral. So I will be downloading all its alphabets. Here you need to download these three files for each letter and also this connector to connect all the letters together and form the word. So this is the main body of our letter. On the back side here we will be connecting the NeoPixel LEDs. And this is the back plate with which we will be hiding all the wiring connections. And this is the lens which will be in the white color. And this is the connector with which we will be connecting all the letters together and form the word. So after downloading all the 3D files of the letters, I started 3D printing it. I have chosen white filament to print all the letters because I didn't have the black one. So after completing 3D printing, I painted the body and the back plate with the black spray paint color. So till this paint dries, let's look at the sponsor of this video. Ultium 365 Designer is an amazing tool with lots of features that makes PCB designing very easy and fast. You can share your PCB designs with a click to your teammate and they will receive an email with the link where they can easily view the designs using the browser and comment the reviews and corrections on the project itself. Ultium 365 is a full built package and requires no additional licenses. And with the Octopart linked with Ultium, you can get real-time insights and the data of all the components. It's the fast search engine for electronic components and you can find each minute detail of the components in it. Links for the free trial Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart is in the description below so you can check it out. Now paint is dried up so we can proceed with this project. So this is the main body of our letters and behind this we will be connecting LEDs and this is the back plate through which we will be hiding the wiring connections of the LEDs. And this is the lens through which the light will be reflected and we can see those colorful beautiful lights. So the next thing you will need is this WS2812B NeoPixel addressable LED strip. You can also use WS2812B LED module which will be perfect fit for this project but I had this LED strips lying around so I will be using this same only. Now we'll use these connectors to connect all the letters together and form the word. So we'll insert this connector over here and then we'll connect the other letter. So after connecting all the letters, the word will look something like this and I have also connected the LEDs behind. So I have used super glue to stick these LEDs behind. And you can see the marking of these arrows, it's for the flow of LEDs. Because these LEDs has input and output pins, the output of the LED will be connected to the input of the next LED. So to make these connections much more simpler, I'll show you a circuit diagram how this works. So here I have all the letters and the LEDs. So first I've connected all the positives of the LEDs all together. So you can see the red color wire is indicated as positive 5 volts. So all the positive connections are connected all together. So next I've connected all the grounds together. So you can see the black color wire indicates the ground connection. So all the grounds are connected all together for all the letters. And after connecting these two, I have connected the data that is the input output connections. So you can see the flow of this wiring. It moves from the top of the V letter, then moves at the end. Then it connects the I letter from the top 
then it connects the R letter from the bottom then it connects the A letter from the bottom and at last it connects to the letter L so you can see as per the circuit diagram I have connected all the connections Also I have connected this extra long wire from the first letter so you can use this wire to connect it with any microcontroller or like Arduino or you can also use it to connect to the ARGB pins of your CPU cabinet. And at last we will stick this backplate with super glue and hide all the wiring connections. And the very last step is to connect this white lens on the body. So if you want to extend these wires, you can use this type of connectors which comes with the NeoPixel LED strip. And to test this out, we'll be using Arduino and we'll upload a code. So these are the connections you need to connect with the Arduino. We are using D5 pin of the Arduino to connect with the LED strip. We are using 5 volt and ground as well. So after connecting the lights with the Arduino, we need to connect the Arduino board with the computer and upload the code. So this is the code. So we need to import this library that is fast LED and over here we need to enter the number of LEDs which we have in the project. In my case it's 19. So you need to enter the number of LEDs how much you have for your word. Now we'll select the board that is Arduino Nano old bootloader and we'll select the port on which it is connected and we'll upload this code. So after uploading the code, you can see the LED started glowing. So it looks very beautiful in the dark. I wanted these lights for my gaming PC. So I have connected it with the ARGB pin of the LED and the fan controller in my cabinet. So it works in the sync with the lights of the fan. So friends, I hope you like this project, then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.